final area of pronoun usage that often gives people trouble is the issue of reference. And it's a very, very, very simple principle, um, which mainly just requires thinking clearly when you're using a pronoun. And that is to say, when you're using a pronoun, it should be clear what a pronoun refers to. And so this is an issue when you're looking at it. It's actually somewhat similar to misplaced modifiers. So if you have a problem with misplaced modifiers, uh, it could well be you also have problems with pronoun reference because it's the same principle. And it mainly just involves thinking a little more clearly about what it is you intend to say. And there are actually two flavors of reference problems that I'll see. One problem that I'll see with um, a pronoun reference is when there's multiple things the pronoun could be referring to. For example, I'll sometimes see a sentence like this. When Susie's mother found out that she had been smoking in her bedroom, she became angry with her. So what we have in this sentence, we have a whole bunch of she's and hers that it's not completely clear what those she's and hers are referring to. So we have when Susie's mother found out that she, is that she Susie or her mother, had been smoking in her bedroom. Is that Susie's bedroom or the mother's bedroom? Uh, she became angry with her. Was that her mother becoming angry with Susie? Or was that Susie becoming angry with her mother? We don't know. Now the person who wrote this sentence probably knows exactly what he or she meant, but it's just not clear on the paper. So to fix something like this, we would need to look and find ways to make it clear who is being talked about. So I might have when her mother found out that Susie had been smoking in her own bedroom, uh, her mother became angry with her. Now we have clarified who found out that who was smoking in whose bedroom and who became angry with whom. So if you've got this kind of issue, look at your pronouns very carefully and make sure it's clear, not just inside your head, but actually clear on the paper. What's that pronoun referring to? The other issue that comes up with pronoun references is when you use a pronoun with no reference. And this is especially true uh, with the pronouns they and you. Um, I'll see those used a whole lot when the writer has gotten lazy and has uh, not really clearly thought through uh, what the pronoun really stands for. So for example, I'll see a sentence like this. They don't like drunk drivers in Connecticut. In this case, we haven't the foggiest notion who they is. It's some vague government entity. Do we know of they as uh, the entire population of Connecticut? Or is it the Connecticut Highway Patrol or the traffic court judges? What the heck 
does they refer to? And so what you have to do if you've got a situation like this is think, all right, who am I referring to by they? Um, so for example, maybe it's the highway patrol. And then since highway patrol is singular, it would be doesn't rather than don't. The highway patrol doesn't like drunk drivers in Connecticut. So now we've clarified. The other situation I'll see is using you, again, without clearly thinking, using you to refer to people in general as opposed to the reader of whatever it is you're writing. So I'll sometimes see something like, you don't see many drunk drivers in Connecticut. And once again, we have this pronoun that it's not really clear who is being talked about. Uh, is it the person who's reading what you've written? Well, if I'm reading this, well, I've never ever seen a drunk driver in Connecticut because I've never even been to Connecticut. Um, and so what we have with this situation is, once again, somebody who's undefined. Um, I'll see this a whole lot, for example, in essays on abortion. What if you were pregnant and you did not know what to do? Well, you've automatically excluded half your readers because half the human race is not even capable of becoming pregnant. So instead of using you to refer to some vague general person out there, or some sort of person that doesn't even include the reader, we might just work this sentence out to get rid of this whole thing in per, uh, completely. And just say drunk drivers um, are seldom seen. In Connecticut. Now we don't have that vague you in there. We haven't worried now about who is or is not seeing drunk drivers in Connecticut. And so um, that's one of the things to watch out for. Um, in your papers, check and see, have you used they all over the place or you all over the place without being clear who it is you're talking about? And if you've done that, then you want to sit down and think a little harder, what does that pronoun refer to? Also, that's the case with the unclear when you've got multiple pronouns. Check and see with your pronouns. Make sure it's clear what you're talking about.